The Museum of Natural History just had a tremendously huge transition. We left a building where we had been for 90 years and moved next door into a brand new building with all new exhibits, new programs, new office spaces, new everything. The new Biological Sciences Building is the right location for this museum because just as it brings scientists together in close proximity to each other to have exciting new conversations, it brings the museum into proximity with those scientists. One of the really exciting things we're offering in the new museum is an opportunity to participate in science. It's an active lab building, so we have the opportunity to put science on display where people from the public can contribute to analyzing data or to collecting data. All of our exhibits have a little bit more in terms of ways that you can interact with them. When you think about a long time ago, people used to come to the museum and they used to just uh, want to see the real thing and that's great and as audiences have developed now they all want to do they come to the museum because they want to do something they want to play with the phenomena they want to learn about natural phenomena that way in the past we were mostly looking and occasionally touching objects now we will have labs where you can really touch and do not just look so we have some very, very exciting new exhibits at the new museum that I think the public will really enjoy. Uh, we have our first new dinosaur in many years. It's called Majungasaurus, and the community helped us purchase it through our, their donations. We have an incredibly dramatic new flying reptile called Quetzalcoatlus. It has a 35-foot wingspan, and it's flying in the west atrium of BSB. I also think people will be really, really excited about the new planetarium and dome theater. It has amazing technology. It's really state of the art. And I think people will love it. The new Museum of Natural History blurs the boundaries between research, public interaction, public engagement, and scholarship here at the University of Michigan. And I really, I really appreciate that those things are interwoven. I hope the new museum inspires its visitors by giving them a sense of awe and wonder about the world around them. And I imagine that some of the children who come and visit this museum one day will grow up to be students here in LSA and will collaborate with scientists in this very building. One of the most exciting things for me uh, happened just today of bringing my mom here for the first time and uh, watching her eyes light up at the beautiful spaces. That was really cool for me. I think sometimes people think about science as something that's very um, cold and factual and um, technical, but generations of families have come here and I think there's a deep love of the museum. And I think when people come to the reopened museum, they're going to fall in love with it all over again. And I'm looking forward to watching that happen. <laughs>